Welcome everyone back to another Volcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. And this is 86 Season 1, Episode 6. Mm -hmm. What happened last time? We Oh, we got a big revelation yes. about all the stuff. We had a big theory crafting session about the brains, about mm -hmm. what could possibly be out there, about whether it's, I don't know, there's a lot of possibilities. It's way too many to go over, but maybe we'll learn a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We also take, took a little bit of a break between now and last session because we were watching a bunch of different things, but I think hopefully this episode will refresh us. We could learn a little bit more and uh, we hope that you guys enjoy the reaction. Check out our One Piece channel. Yeah. Link in the description where we react to One Piece only on that channel. And uh, yeah, if you like One Piece and you don't want to get other nonsense, go over there. If you want to get a month ahead on this show and other shows, check out our Patreon and uh, get uncut reactions, OP reactions, and a bunch of other stuff, exclusive and early access. Patreon.com slash podcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like 86, if you like our channel, if you like our analysis, if you like our theory crafting, all that stuff. Let us know you enjoy it by leaving a like and commenting and subscribing, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But most of all, if you don't want to do any of that nonsense, Please just enjoy the reaction. Let's go. Library. Flashback. So he's gonna pick up a bunch of books and bring them back. Mm -hmm. He's got a gun. Means he's probably gonna. Sh oh, this is where he. Does he does he take this one? He just had one. He's probably gonna find yeah. somebody in here. This yeah. This is his. Oh, he already got strangled. Oh shit. Oh yeah, his brother's head's taken. Yeah. Head's taken. I wonder if he, I guess maybe this is where he like figures it out or puts it all together or something Probably. of like what's actually going on. I wonder what, why he went over there. Cause it looked, it, it looked like the camera like zoomed in on him and he like looked behind him and then he like walked out towards and then he found the body. Yeah. So I wonder, it didn't look like it was just taken. So I wonder what he, what like made him go there. Maybe just like, know. maybe it's just like it's a intuition. Yeah. Some random shit, but. His intuition is also linked directly to like uh, hearing yeah. dead people. So yeah. Oh, I just realized that little that's scrap the, was yeah. his brother. It was like the insignia on his brother's thing. Mm -hmm. And his, the one that's on his is is, is very the same, similar. but with a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. Really piling up there. Yep. Pile them up. I love the uh, in the OP. It's like there's the red spider lily, which represents like death, mm -hmm. and then it's like shriveling away, meaning like death isn't. Death is dying because mm. be their heads are being taken and they're being like reborn. Mm. That's it. That's actually cool. Mm. Four years. <laughs> Everybody is so suspicious. This is bow tie. It's a party, he has to put on his best outfit. <laughs> so they already heard of her? Mm. About 
戦線の首のない死神ねひどけど本当なんだなんか泣けるって聞いたけどそのスカーフ取ったらまさかノイケコミコロネメシーダイコツのマークの首がある Why did the brothers have no head? Did he know about it? I don't know. Did the brothers have no head? It, had, it was the same. Oh. It just was holding a sword, I think, or a, I think it was a sword. I don't know. Some epic foreshadowing of his own death. Yeah, either it's just... Jesus, all these people are gonna fucking die, right? Some of them are already yeah, dead. Yeah. <clears throat> such a magical time and just sad. Oh, what whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, what? What? Shit. Oh. They're learning. Which is very unfortunate. Oh. She lost legs? Fuck. Pulling her out of there. Oh no. God damn it. You lost like. Oh, yeah. What the I hell are like these? Those. They got like doll faces. They're like bombs. They're suicide bombers. Oh my god. They have an eject button on here or something? They have mouths. You see ah, that? It's like leaking. No. Oh. oh my god. That was hardcore as fuck. Got there like just too late. This is bad. It was just like, that's just what, like what happened when he felt his brother. What? That's what I want to know. What the fuck Why? happened? He, se he just seemed like a really nice, understanding older brother. He even said that he wanted him to like grow up and be strong and shit. He's <laughs> got her rocking chair. She a re-gift. <laughs> Nicholas. Nicholas. <laughs> 
聞きたいことあるから来たんじゃないのねえあのと目の前がなんだけどその you know, if, if these things were to... もし精神面に影響が出たらおおそりゃバカッと Why did she look all like テストならバカッと頭を受けて入んだろうなら即検査あれ絶望じゃねごめん行かなきゃだぜまた飲みに来るねえな来年はいつも通りやるから十分美味しかったよ This is super ominous, this episode. Yeah. She has different flowers in there now. Just little drawings of what she thinks they look like. I mean, it's not just for the 86 at this point. You guys are all gonna die too. Is he sending them on a suicide mission? It's because there are no more people. Yeah, exactly. It's the orders. <laughs> Giving her the chocolate and stuff. And Draws him looking all angry. <laughs> she was getting yeah. embarrassed. <laughs> I see. Sounds like that Yeet song. Mm, bombs up, bombs up. Wait, no after credits? No, no after credits. Oh, okay. Is that like the first time that there has been I an think after so. credits? I uh, think so. What did you think of that episode? I actually really liked this episode. I liked, um, it was kind of sad, but just seeing this whole, like, little party thing that they were having, and, you know, like, they're just hanging out, having, like, a little barbecue, and with the flowers, and how, uh, when she's talking about them, it's, like, just very, um, what's the word? It's very relevant to mm -hmm. their life. As soldiers, it's just like they burn bright and beautiful, and then just like yeah. die. <laughs> and then she puts that on her thing, and then she time. dies. Yeah. Um. And then this. Oh yeah, there's a whole scene where he. That was really cool. I really loved the framing of this thing, like outside the church mm -hmm. here. This is a really cool and like haunting shot. Yeah as well it's yeah it's really cool i just i wonder if it is like a cinematic thing of just like or if it is the same feeling because it, it seems like he heard his brother's spirit or his echo or whatever calling to him is like and then it zooms in and then he's like what the hell is that and then the same thing happened uh later in the episode i forget when mm -hmm. exactly whether it was after this it was before that when he shot her when he shot her yeah i think like yeah, right after he shot her, then his and zoomed in, and then he f and then he was like, "Oh, what the fuck?" Yeah. Maybe maybe his brother's 
head is at the base mm. that's being established here. That could be. And, um... And that's how he, like, knows about it. And Yeah. I, wa I kind of wanted to go back... Maybe we'll do it after the episode and go back and, and see, like, the, their talk, listen to their whole explanation and just refresh ourselves and give us an idea of everything. Like, because we had a theory whether it's, like, they're putting all the brains together or whether the brains are in the things or... I think it, that they said the, the brains are in the things, but then they make copies of the brains. Yeah. So, like, you, the that brain essentially can, can just be in keep, more yeah. than one uh, unit. Yeah. But then it, that makes me wonder, like, why do they have to keep taking heads if they just make copies of the brains? I think it's because a lot of them are really messed up, so they, like, get more. And also think about, like, the way that people think is always different. So if you're, like, assembling a, an army of these things, I, I it would be good to have multiple different things. Because, like, see, now they're getting strategies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe if they just had, like, one brain spread across all of them, like they did before when it was just a then robotic they, then brain. Then they get the, then, the patterns yeah. and then it's the same script but every if you time ha, But if you have uh, many different brains and they're all taking these patterns and assessing them and analyzing them differently, then you come up with like more uh, solutions or just different ideas, like with people as well. Yeah, yeah. I hope, I just, one, one thing I'm afraid of for this show is I hope everybody who's watching reactions aren't like expecting us to break down crying every time somebody dies. I, yeah. I don't think they are, but I'm sure some people out there are going to be, like, disappointed that we're not, like, freaking out when people it's die. It's sad, but it's they literally sad, but... tell us that they're going to die, basically, and I, I'm not super really attached to yeah. any of them. I just I just hope everybody's out there not is not expecting us to, like, freak out and cry every time somebody dies. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think most people are, because the story acknowledges just that it's a matter of time. And the the opening is made in a way where it's, like, there's literally a part in the opening that is so much empty space for the people around for, us to yeah. die. Yeah. So I, I you know, I, I just hope that people aren't expecting too much from that side of things. I'm very, int I'm very intrigued in the mystery and how things work. Um, I'm intrigued in the main characters, but all the other people pretty much are just ticking time bombs for to die. And I'm not, I don't see myself feeling super sad. Although we'll see when it happens. Mm -hmm. Depending on. Who I also it is. feel like we haven't. Like, we get just enough of them so that it's a tragedy when they die, but not, not enough of them that, that I'm, like, super invested in their character and, like, really believe that they had a And I don't future. care. I feel the yeah. same way, but I don't really... I, I'm not, like, da I'm not downing on the show for that. It's just that I, as a reactor and as somebody who's doing this as a reaction, there's always that, like, thing of, like, I'm kind of... I, I, I just hope that people aren't expecting like a crazy big mm -hmm. sad like we're gonna freak out and scream and cry every single time because it's not like that uh for for us and you know there's i guess it's i'm just nervous about everybody's reception to that but i probably shouldn't be yeah i don't know um what was i gonna say like shin's brother is just like it's like we have two we have two accounts of them and they could not be more different you mm -hmm. know like we have like oh the nice guy who was like fighting for a cause and gave her chocolate and was just and cared about his brother and then we have the one where he's just like screaming and strangling a child you know yeah i don't i don't know what that's about whether it seems like it's a memory but it also feels like it could just be his interpretation of it's what like his brother would have felt yeah, yeah like like he feels guilty and this is a manifestation of his guilt mm -hmm. and his brother actually didn't do this and Something the, else happened as to yeah. why he has the scar. Or it's like, like an echo, like a deep thing in his brain because, you know, when maybe when Shin almost died and they were taking his head away, like he like, got plugged into their system mm -hmm. for a second and then felt like this, this deep, like, regret and it felt like he was being strangled and this is like his interpretation of, tho of those echoes of feelings while mm -hmm. he was like in interacting with that network or mm -hmm. something. So... He is asking uh, Lena to tell him about that interaction and like how what did, was he smiling when he do because he wants to like remember he wants he, he, there's a there that's the conflict so like maybe this isn't a literal thing but it it's like it's like it, this swirl of thoughts that and like emotions that he must have felt when he got plugged in mm -hmm. or it could just be like what happened yeah um but and maybe he feels maybe Shin feels guilty for like maybe he could have protected their parents or something I don't mm -hmm. know I don't know 
It's it's yeah. I, I I it'll be interesting to see whether it's a real memory or whether it's you know some weird sci-fi conflation of yeah. feelings and stuff like that. You know, I, there's no way to know at this point. Uh, it seems it seems like it is a memory, but you know it's just so different that there mm -hmm. has to be something going on with it because what we know of his brother was that he was like such a nice, cool guy. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And then there's a uh, old uncle shithead here, who. <laughs> You know, is it hearing everything? Every time she mentions that they're human, he's just like, oh, don't side with them. But then she, when she's like, they're people, he just like blows pa past it, doesn't even argue. Because arguing with the idea that they are human is an acknowledgement of that argument and it, acknowledging that there is a possibility. Mm -hmm. So he just blows past that completely and doesn't even acknowledge that, that her arguments. Um, and then Annette was being weird too. What the hell was that where she like she was mentioning all this? Uh, she said something about like um, I, Like yeah, this look here when it's just guys you're eight well, all the guys my age blah blah. Oh, no, that wasn't it No, it was uh, there was another look that she gave just hypothetically Yeah, this when she when she was talking about the parade system mm -hmm. if the parade has some kind of effect on a person's mind and then she's like hmm and then goes all and then goes all like flippant and like has this has this, mo this flash of seriousness. So I wonder if she's hiding some. She knows more about it or or what. Uh, then it'd go pop. Is she talking about? Uh, we'd pop the processor's skull right open and do a thorough examination of their brain. Is this her way of saying, don't mention, like anything she, to do don't mention anything to do with Undertaker because we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to look into it if, yeah. if and that means yeah. killing him. Yeah, uh, just like we're gonna do with Undertaker. Which so she's basically saying, saying that he's an just leave it alone or an experiment or an anomaly. And because maybe a net respect, either there's like a deeper plot going on there, or there it's it's her looking out for her friend and this guy and this and these people that she has an interest in saying like. I'm just telling you from my perspective and my job, if there were to be something like this, then we would have to look into it, but I don't know. Yeah. When we're done, we just throw it away. Uh, for Handler, we immediately give him a thorough exam and then transfer them to another unit. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was a warning or if it was, um, you know, how self-aware was she about Lena's feelings there? In, in that moment, I'm not sure. And and we still don't know what her deal exactly is. We know that she was, that Annette was really, uh, that she is kind of given up on any kind of social justice when it comes to the 86s, because she's like, what can, what is my suffering yeah. gonna do for them, basically? But I'm not gonna actually try to do anything despite my ability to possibly be able to do something. So I'm just gonna live my life, eat my fucking cake, and uh, move on. Mm -hmm. So she's also kind of given up. But then there's there's weird things about her that makes me feel like she, there is something going on. Like she is doing her own thing, or she is she is trying to experiment or learn about the parade system, or maybe she knows more about the parade system mm -hmm. that she's not saying because she has kind of given up on everything. She's kind of being nihilistic about it. So maybe she has more information than even the government possibly knows because of her dad or because of other research she's done. She's had breakthroughs, but they're kind of they're kind of depressing like maybe she's found out about the whole brain snatching mm -hmm. thing and through her own research and is or maybe the government knows about it and they're just Here, like they're just here's one thing is i because we talked about before of like whether or not they know about it and i still feel like that they can't possibly know about it and still be taking their same actions, because obviously the whole point of using the 86, and they're like, oh, 86 are replaceable. They know damn well that they're not replaceable at this point because there are barely any of them left, and they're all getting killed every day. And the only reason that they would continue to do that and not, like, try other things unless they're doing stuff behind the scenes would be because they genuinely believe that the war is gonna end, and they'll have enough 86s to, like, last them to the end, and then hopefully there'll be, like, none left, and they can just, like, move on as a society that'll that i think that's sorry you, so yeah. yeah so the thing is is if they knew that the war wasn't going to end in two years and it was going to keep going on then maybe they'd be more likely to use something like the mortars or like take more of a chance so that they could keep using the 86 as like the main force but also like use a little bit of other things so that they don't 
get completely annihilated and start having to use their own people instead. Two things with that, either, so an explanation of why they would keep going like this, they might, the story might, it depends on how well written it is, first of all, but giving benefit of the doubt, I think that it's possible from a thematic perspective, they might be pulling a sort of, uh, like, like Hitler towards the end of World War II, because this is a very Nazi Germany-esque. Mm. Uh, where Hitler was just like totally acting irrationally and like was so about the purity of their race and about the, the way that everything was going and about standing their ground that they're basically digging their heels in. And that's common in, in a lot of different anime too of like, you know, we're, we're it's just, they're just being dumb and irrational because they're, they've been living a life a certain way mm -hmm. and they're not considering the possibility that everything will come to an end. They're basically paralyzed, but also sticking to like their pride and freedom. And like every time she brings something up, he's like, what does the flag mean? It's like fucking purity and honor and pride and all this other shit. So it's possible that the higher ups are just like willfully ignoring it because they are too proud mm -hmm. to now that they've, They've spread all this shit about the 86s being lesser. If they go back on it, then they're basically wrong and yeah. and that they're fucked. So they're admitting they're wrong. There's that possibility. Or there's the possibility that there is like a deeper acknowledgement of the brain swapping thing and they're planning their own counterattack or they, they have their own reasons for not sharing this and for continuing to do this. Uh, maybe they're working on some kind of para raid neutralizer or some shit like that. And the, and the research is like, very deep, like, similar, again, like, with the Attack on Titan parallel, there's, like, the wall cultists who are actually, like, part of the ruling class, and they're keeping the secret of their true power mm -hmm. until things get too close, and then they'll unleash it, and then uh, they'll have a standing chance again. Mm -hmm. But that requires, like, maintaining the status quo is what matters the most, and uh, only when we're pushed to that, because maybe there's a greater sacrifice involved with that for mm -hmm. their own people. So they'd rather just wa waste the 86s until they get to the point where they can do that. Yeah. Either one of those I think is equally possible. Um, I think that it's more possible to, well, I don't know. I think it's probably equally possible. I think that there's more to, especially with the way that Annette acts, the way that Uncle Shithead acts and the way, I just don't know. I think it's, I think we don't know enough about the, uh, we haven't learned enough about them. They're just like, mm -hmm. there's shiftiness and weirdness and secrecy and like, Ig ig willful ignorance that seems intentional mm -hmm. to with with these with the with the characters. So I think that there is maybe something more going on there um, than just them digging their heels in racially. I think that, like I said, it's more of a functional racism than just a, a straight up superiority. But it also might just be a fear of of the shame of admitting you're wrong and going back on what your whole mission was as mm -hmm. this like. Um, this Aryan nation type thing. Um, I'm not sure. The one thing I really didn't like about this episode was when she just randomly got all like, like, why? Like, why it's do that? I have a, a romance aspect. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> it's like, just, it just came out of nowhere. It felt like it's like she, she is always vulnerable with her feelings, you know? And then yeah. just for some reason they have to make it. Oh, it's, it's a, Oh, we need to make her blush like a cute animal. Like, I just... Have the romance. Have her be cute. But don't, like... It just felt so... It felt so like we're in the world and and, and these characters are talking like people. And then it just makes it an anime. For, like, they had to or something. It just... It was just... Ugh. It's just dumb. Like... And, and I'm not a, I'm not against them leaning into that if that's the, what they want to do, I guess. But they already... There was already, already that, like, romantic that? tension. It almost felt like they were... They were doing that for the people who just don't know what it, what romance is like, and they're like, oh, they're they're clearly just getting closer, and he's like checking can, up on her. Just and in being, case you didn't see the subtext here, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just, just make it, it so the, obvious yeah. so that you can like I don't know, we'll just fawn over her. Yeah, it's so it, literally underlining bold and like literally turning her face beet red. It's like like she hasn't been already showing interest in him on that level like that it's more than just a job like if you read into it at all you can tell that like you don't i just it just feels insulting and dumb and like pandering to dumb people who just aren't going to see that and you just want their cute waifu to act like a cute waifu or something it just like undermines the the tone of the story to do mm -hmm. that it just it's and it's a small thing 
I'm not gonna hold it against the show. I hope you guys know that, but it's it's just dumb. It is just dumb. Can we just admit that it's dumb? And now let's move on. That's that's all I wanted to say on that. Um, yeah. Other than that, I think it was a good. I like them like hearing about her, and then <laughs> in the past, and then just being like, oh yeah, she's just a dumb pig bitch. I bet she's got big pig tits and stuff like that. They're just like, oh, I bet she's a dumb bitch pig who's ugly as shit and just sucks. What did they say about having a rose on her back? Uh, I don't know. They, they, it was, it felt like, uh, like in Fruits Basket, they're like, oh, everybody has a little plum on their back. Oh, and it's like I, something I that other people that can line. see that you can't see this, I guess by a rose on their back, they mean, on her back, they mean, um, like, uh, where, where? Oh, and then the one guy who's dead, by the way, yeah, was like, like, oh, I'd like to meet I'd her. I'd like to meet her. You know what? I don't even give a shit. And then he's like, he who hates them is like, yeah, okay, whatever. I forget when they said that. that. Am I just making this up entirely? It's, it kind of... It kind of seems like it. No, I, I kind of remember... Oh. Yeah, pink rose on her back. I wonder what that means. I don't know. I think, it's, I think it is like a similar like saying, like, uh, oh shit. Like, uh... In Fruits Basket. Mm. I'm not sure, though. Anyway, good episode. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next one. Leave a like, subscribe. Check out Patreon. Check out One Piece channel. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Bye-bye.